imposing now being led forward. At my command, drawn out wide on the outside. Looks like Dave the King will complete the lineup. Uh, Charles Dickens also standing out. So Dave the King and Charles Dickens, the last two. Dave the King is ready. Charles Dickens. Up to the gate and in. We're ready. 1,400 meters. It's the Cape Classic. I believe number three has his legs stuck in the starting stalls. They're busy sorting that out. That's the delay. Taking him out of the gates. Three wicked warrior. Was fractious, got hooked up in the starting stalls. So he'll be subject to a vet check. Has been taken out. The balance wait patiently. Pass fit to race, three wicked warrior, Mornhaven uh, remounts, comes forward. He will complete the lineup for the Cape Classic. Wicked warrior up to the gates, goes in. Now we're ready. Gates are back, off and racing, got them away to a perfect start. Charles Dickens responded really quickly. He goes up to lead them early. Now being taken on by At My Command, who's being forced to work hard to overcome a bad draw and go around runners. Back at the rail, Countdown is setting in that third placing. Dave the King is now also on the move, and he's going up to race handy. Just in behind these, we've got Port Louis, who settles just three lengths off them. The Mar is back towards the inside. They being followed then by Wiccan Warrior, imposing racing in behind that one. Further back then to We We're Jamming, who switches off towards the back end of the field, about a dozen lengths off them. And Lord William is keeping that one company on the outside. At my command, takes the field along. He's overcome that draw, but he had to work hard, and he's in front by two lengths. Dave the King is racing back in second. Charles Dickens is beautifully placed at the fence, racing in third. Kept company the outside by Port Louis, or cornering that fourth placing. Countdown is just in behind those. They followed then by Lamar. The rest are stretched out as they come off that false rail and head for home with 400 meters left to go. At my command is still in front. Charles Dickens towards the outside has him in his sights. Dave the King is also moving in. Port Louis in behind that and Countdown. At my command, but Charles Dickens is moving smoothly in the center now. And he comes forward to pick it up and he's going on well. He's all they said he was. He's too good here. Charles Dickens powers home to win it and to win it comfortably in the end, easing up. At my command, game in second, tight for third. Dave the King and Port Louis in a photo. Countdown was in behind those. They were then followed by imposing. Charles Dickens, rumored to be a superstar. He's on the way there. Hasn't done it yet, but he's doing everything asked. Five, Charles Dickens, too strong for them. Hands and heels, comes away to win the Cape Classic. Five, Charles Dickens, a comfortable winner, eases up at the line. One, at my command, had to work to overcome his draw. Runs on gamely for second. Tight for third. From that, though, I think Port Louis, two, has just snatched that third placing from the nine, Dave the King. Wait for confirmation for third and fourth. Behind them, a countdown. We are jamming, imposing. Then came Lamar. 
and Wiccan Warrior. Head on view at this stage, at my command, was in front. But in the center, the Dragon's End Silks, the five, Charles Dickens was in cruise control. He came alongside, shake of the reins, he went clear, and five, Charles Dickens wins the Cape Classic and stamps himself as favorite for the Cape Guineas.